I use hashtag running community a lot. It's good for the social media feeds. But who's in this running community? As a serious runner, I know that the shorter the shorts, the faster the splits. As a serious runner, I always make sure to mention all of my running success stories in every social interaction that I have. This includes my personal record times and awards that I've won. I may not be talking to someone who's interested in running, but that likely just means that they're slow. As a serious runner, I have my own Excel sheet that has every single run known to data. It has charts, graphs, and statistics because how else can you keep track of your epicness? As a serious runner and designer, I created my own shirts for Boston. Because if you have to ask where Hopkinton is, are you really a serious runner? As a serious runner, I have my very own dedicated shoe rack just for all my running shoes. I actually don't even own any regular pairs of shoes. As a serious runner, I know just how important sleep is for my recovery. That's why about an hour before my bedtime of 8 p.m., I start winding down with some bedtime classics. You know, Daniel's Running Formula, Row to the Top, and even at advanced marathoning. If I'm really lucky, I'll dream of the perfect training plan to get me a PR at my next race. As a serious runner, I wear my smallest and lightest singlet for a race, even when it's well below freezing outside because I know that no one will take me as a threat if I dress appropriate for the weather. As a serious runner, I know that having a unique style for my stage shots will help me stand out in social media. Hey, Craig. Hey, Ian. Yeah. As a serious runner, I post videos to YouTube every couple of weeks in the hopes that one day, a company that I've never heard of will send me a massage gun for the purposes of review. As a serious runner, when I run with my friends, I make sure I'm always a half step in front of the pack. As a master serious runner, I never miss an opportunity to age grade my finish times because they're far more impressive that way. As a serious runner, I started a YouTube channel called Midlife Runner to let everyone know that I'm only slow because I started running at the age of 40. You know you're a serious runner, where at every opportunity you always bring into conversation that you are the current official Guinness World Record holder at marathon distance. Yeah, it's real. I know, I'm proper serious. As a serious runner, I'm always performing unnecessarily precise calculations to figure out how fast I'd need to run my last two miles in order to get back before the laundry finishes spinning. As a serious runner with a nine to five, I wear two inch split shorts and alpha flies all day while on Zoom calls because I know that gives me the mental advantage I need to get out there right at 5 p.m. for my run. Or I'll just get horrible chafing and wind up sitting on the couch all night, lying to myself saying, I just needed a recovery day. I am such a serious runner that I let my hair go gray so everybody knows that I'm old and all you hobby joggers out there can be impressed and tell me, you're still running marathons at your age? Good for you, sweetie. As a serious runner, I run simply because I love the sport of running. As a serious runner with family responsibilities, it's important to me to strike a balance. That's why I plan all of my family's holidays around park runs, because there's nothing more important to the well-being of my family than me getting my next milestone t-shirt. As a serious runner, I like people to know how serious I am about my running, regardless of what season it is, including the Christmas holiday season. As a serious runner, I not only take my training and racing seriously, but that of my kids as well. When we all place in our age group, other people look at our family and say, wow, what great genes. It also allows me to casually drop his half marathon time into conversation and to reassure my Strava followers that my most recent race wasn't at race effort. I was just helping my seven year old pace so that he could crush his other second graders. But mom, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. I'm raising the next generation of serious runners. Hmm, that's weird. I don't seem to have a video from Kipchoge. Maybe next year.